Hi, Dave here. I'm noticing online a lot of guys demonstrating how to apply water-based urethane by dunking it in a bucket and then applying it. Okay, now I understand in, from their perspective it's saving time, but don't be lazy when you're doing this. I'm putting a third coat on in this room here in this job we're doing here. So we've already, I've already got two coats on and I'm just applying a third coat now. But what you wanna do, rather than dunking it in a bucket, and then having to deal with all that, cause what's gonna happen when you have a bucket and you, you dunk it in the bag, you, you put a bag in there and then you pour your urethane in there, what'll happen is it starts to dry onto the side of the bag and then you're gonna get these uh, loose strips of, of your dried urethane going into, the, going into your, your roller and your, and your brush and then you're gonna be dealing with that. Uh, so you wanna avoid that. We're using Lobo Life Satin for this job. What you should do, of course, you stir it up well, mix it good. I had previously mixed this as well earlier. It's always good to give it a shake when you're when you're applying some to the floor just before you bring it. So here I've got about a strip of like 17 or so feet, I guess it is. So I normally transfer the floor finish into a smaller pouring cup like this. It's just a lot easier to work with when you are when you're applying it. Now you don't necessarily have to use a cup like that. If you want to get something like a gas can that has a spout, I've seen guys do that. That's fine too. Regardless of what you use to apply it to the floor, doesn't is kind of irrelevant, but just what you want to do is for this section here, I'm going to pour some on a decent amount, go over a bit more, a few feet down. And then down again. So you're putting on a decent amount. And you just spread it. So you got to work reasonably quickly with water-based urethane because it can set in on you. This is an excellent quality finish, this Loba. It just, it dries beautifully and the finish is just spectacular. For a water-based finish, it's, it really is my favorite one to use. Um, if you're buying the, the, uh, the brands that are sold at Home Depot and Lowe's, and I think you know what I mean, without naming them, because I do use their products sometimes, but, um, they just don't compare to this. The issue I have with some of those products uh, is they're too watery. It's far too watery. I know they're water-based, but this loba just tends to have like a, a meatiness to it. I don't know any other way to describe it. If I'm comparing the Loba finishes to one of those uh, Home Depot type water-based finishes, it's almost like this. The Home Depot type finishes, and I think you know the brands I'm talking about, they're almost like skim milk, whereas the Loba is like 18% cream. So imagine the consistency difference there. You almost feel a meatiness to that Loba. That's why I like using it. It kind of has a nice thick texture to it, though it is a water-based. And, um, it's just so beautiful to work with. And it spreads so nicely. But you can see, all I'm doing is I'm, I'm making sure that I spread it nicely. You got a nice coat on there. So you see I'm kind of just working it around. The thing is, you don't want to be lazy when you're applying your thing. You want to take your time. It's not a race, especially at this stage. It's not a race to be racing through the job to try to get finished as fast as you can. That's not the point. Okay? It takes you a little longer. That's fine. The end result's going to look better. And your customer's going to, your customer's going to be a lot happier.
The customer is happy, you're happy. That's all that matters. Because whether you like it or not, the customer is your boss. And if you and if you do a good job, then you get good ratings, you get good reviews, you can use it as a referral. These are all these are all integral things. And what you see me doing here when I'm reaching over. Because I'm just going back to overlap over the previous row. So there you have it. It's nicely spread. It's going to dry nice and even. And you won't have any issues or you won't have any lap marks or anything like this. This Loba is just an excellent finish. So until next time, happy sanding and refinishing, David. Mm -hmm.